Hello guys and gals, Wyoming Rider here. Today we'll be taking the Sapato M7 out here to the beautiful Lake Desmet for a little ride around the lake. And I brought my mom with me. And she's gonna sit over here and watch me because she doesn't want to ride, so. <laughs> <laughs> this is a beautiful really deep lake out here even though the water is really low this year because it's been so dry but, and you can see the mountains over behind us probably doesn't come out very well in this camera but yeah they're gorgeous you see all the big mountains on the top up there anyway we'll go ahead and take this thing out and let's see how it goes here I'll probably raise my seat up a little bit Oh, all right, let's see. I'm just gonna leave it in two for now. There's a lot of loose gravel out here. And of course, I've got to take the kickstand up. There we go. <laughs> all right, I'll be right back. Really likes spinning out on that gravel. Yeah, it's just gorgeous out here today. Let's see if this gravel is a little smoother, hopefully. Yeah, stop here and uh, let you take a look for the view from up here. We're a little higher up. Yeah, it's a pretty good sized lake. It does go on around a little further that way. And the dam's back that direction. Yeah, this is gonna come around here. This is a perfect bike for this because I could carry it and we brought it in my mom's Odyssey van and it fit perfectly in the back of it. Oh yeah, this is great. It's really good on this road. Cruising along doing 23 and this speed over is fairly accurate. It's about a half a mile an hour overstated, but not bad. So we're pretty going, probably going about 25 right here. I'm gonna go across the end of the, the dam here. A little bit deeper gravel through here, so I have to be a little careful. Get up the main road here, there we go. Lots of birds out here. Looking out there to see if I see any antelope, but I don't see them at the moment, but there's plenty of them around here. They like this grassy uh, field area. Yeah, this stuff. Perfect temperature today. It's like in the 70s, and yeah, it feels great. There's a little, little wind going on. Hopefully, the wind noise isn't too bad. Beautiful. Yeah. Like I said, hopefully, I'll uh, find you some antelope out here somewhere. There's some right there. I see some. They're not up very close right now, but hopefully these come out on the camera. But if you look out there in the grassy field, you'll see them moving now because they see me. But yeah, those are uh, antelope or what most people call them. They're really uh, prong pronghorns, but yep, there they go. They're running up the hill. Yeah, looking back at me like, hey, uh, what are you doing? Are you here to kill us or? Well, antelope, I'm shooting you, but not, not with a gun. This with a camera. Yeah, that uh, water is very low because you see all that red gravel. I mean, it's usually all the way up to the edge of the grass. 
normal years but like i said it's been very dry this year so that water is quite low well, this meadow is an interesting lake it's very deep and been told by people who's uh, lived here all their life that there's uh, still structures down there underneath the water that was there before they uh, made it into a lake. There is also a legend of a, of a sea creature, of course, but yeah, I don't know that that's any truth to that. I'll leave that alone. Let you be the judge of that, but it is a very deep lake. all the details of the legend but there is one that exists turn around here and go back the other direction i uh, hope you can see that beautiful view of the mountains from out here because yes you can see all the uh top of the bighorn mountains and all the ones covered in snow mostly melted now but there is still a little snow up there So a little further south in Sheridan, so you don't really see black teeth from this side like you do in my videos in Sheridan, but see some of the other mountains. Not really an expert at that, but uh, yeah, couldn't tell you which one is which up there. I think that big one ahead, the tallest one, might be Cloud Peak, but I'm not completely for sure. Because these are uh, not small mountains. I mean, they uh, go up to about 13,000 feet there. So pretty tall. I just realized I forgot to put my gloves on, but oh well. I'll be okay without them. Yeah, it's so, so nice out here. And we're going to continue to go on down the other way here. So if I would have continued on that road there, it goes a very long way and eventually ends up in Montana. But uh, I don't have enough battery for that, that's for sure. It'll probably be about 50 miles or so going that route. It goes <laughs> weaves through all the hills and prairies out there. Just lots of uh, beautiful scenery and pretty much nothing else that way. Definitely would need a bike with about a hundred miles of range to do that. Everything here in Wyoming is uh, far apart. We pretty much measure everything here in hours instead of distance. Most everything's uh, First towns and stuff like that go major towns. They're, they're all usually at least about an hour and a half to two hours apart. Like from Sheridan, you go two, two and a half hours to the south, you get to Casper. Or if you go two hours to the north, you come out of Billings, Montana, which is a much bigger city. So. Yeah, I should have went that way, but that's all right. Well, we to get on here, down here below. Hope you can see those mountains better. Oh yeah, and I see more antelope over there too. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of them right there. I don't know if you can see them yet, but... There's a couple of herds of them now. Those are hidden up the hill there. Got some closer that's not run off yet. But yeah, there's probably about 15 or 20 out there. Yep, these are running off that direction. Yeah, running that way, and the others are just uh, standing on the hill over there now. Yes, those are uh, pronghorns, or otherwise known as antelope. We have lots of those out here. Same way as the deer. 
See out there a lot more skittish than the deer are. Oh, there's some more really close right there. I didn't see. See them right there by the gate. Awesome. I'll try to quietly sneak up here. But this gravel's making too much noise. Try to get as close as I can. There they go. <laughs> Little bit of paved right here. We're not going to stay on that long because we're going to have to turn there right here. So what's up this way? Mostly just camping spots and stuff this way. Beautiful place to camp. The grass dreams. It could cost about 10 bucks a day or something like that to camp out here. Somebody fishing over there. See some birds out there. Can't tell from here if they're duck or geese, but probably some of both. Beautiful clear skies today. Take this road here because that should cut right back around where I started out out over there. Yeah, beautiful place to go for a ride, that's for sure. Probably not a place you'd want to take a, a bike with the city tires on it, you know, with road tires, but uh, this has a nice knobby tread on it, so it does pretty well out here. Put those Chaoying tires on it. So yeah, it does fantastic out here. Very nice bike for some uh, scenic riding. And having the dual motors, yeah, as you see, climbs all those hills and no problem. Perfect bike for this. All right, I should get another good look at it here. So before, this is the Sapato M7. And you can get this on Amazon and I'll put a link to it in the description below. And right now it's currently priced at $9.99. It does have a shipping fee on it, so be aware of that. But yeah, it's a great bike for the price. That is for sure. Very good deal. Because it is full suspension. It has non-adjustable suspension in the front and back. But hey, it is there and it does work. So yeah, I hope you like this bike and this video. If you do, please give me a like, subscribe, and share this video with others. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.